Hello everyone and welcome back to Cattails Creek's Legends with our young curious silver tabby cat Creek continuing her exploring of mystic colonies searching out for all of the mysterious secrets that her very curious kitty mind wants to discover. And we are continuing on a late autumn evening on the day before the autumn festival at the sacred temple and Creek has actually had a very busy day. Early Earlier in the day, she was quite distressed to find herself caught up in the middle of a battle between Forest and Mystic Colony. And little did she know, that battle might forever change the course. And let's go ahead and let her eat this mouse because she's very hungry. But that battle may have very well changed the course of how she fights and interacts with the other colonies forever because in the midst of the fighting when it looked like she was going to be killed and she had no other choice she made a mad dash across some of the flowers in the swamp she ended up getting her claws really sunk into the dark lilies that grow all over the swamp she got poison on her claws and she used her poisoned claws to attack the cats of moss or excuse me cough cough of forest colony and she did end up winning the battle. She won the battle entirely because she used those poison claws and now she doesn't really know what to think about this newfound ability and this newfound power. Is it truly fair to go ahead and use such a dangerous technique against other cats? Did she really want to win battle that way? Did she really have a choice when her life was at risk? She might have died if she didn't. So she's got a lot of new questions and a dead damselfly and some catnip that we can gather over here actually. She has a lot of new questions that she really needs to spend some time answering. There we go, and we've got a dead mouse that we caught in the water. That is an unexpected find in the water. Good job, Creek. And hopefully she will find a friend inside of the colony to be able to ask all these questions to. And something tells me increasingly that that friend might actually be the colony leader, Alyssa, who might have a little bit of advice for us since she is the colony leader. She has lived in the wetlands her whole life and she also enjoys the beach. I was really surprised to find out, but apparently Alyssa is a water cat who loves the streams, the creeks, the beaches. That really took me by surprise, but it does mean that we might be able to have a friend who shares some of Creek's interest to be able to spend time with and talk to. Also, we need to get Creek home and in bed in the next few minutes. <laughs> Oh no, I think I waited too long. Okay, quick, go to sleep, go to sleep. If you send your cat to sleep before 11 p.m., then they should wake up. Dun, 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 Yes, at eight in the morning. All right, wonderful. Today is the autumn festival. I should head to the sacred temple and join in the fun. Whew, and you know, after a really tense, terrible time of battling against Forest Colony with poison, I feel like Creek could use a lighthearted day. Let's go ahead and eat this rabbit to make sure that we're nice and full. We have an extra mouse. We have some extra catnip, which turns out Alyssa absolutely loves. So we have tons of gifts. I don't think you can actually give any of the gifts to the cats of, um, of the festival though. So we'll go ahead and leave some of these behind. Uh, I'll go ahead, hold, and we'll leave behind the catnip. Hey, where'd it go? Did I use it? No! Oh wait, I dropped it on the ground. Never mind. Okay, not as... I was so offended. I was like, excuse you, wait a second. I did not mean to just like lose that. All right, well, we'll leave the catnip here, but everything else I think can come with us. And it's the last day of autumn. So let's go and do a little bit of hunting. I really wanted to spend some time decorating around the colony with some of these marigolds because I feel like Savannah and Creek have spent a lot of time collecting the marigolds together and kind of decorating in front of her den. Another small, subtle, but very clear way that Creek has been uh, invited to sort of settle in and feel more at home in the colony after all. There we go. But let's leave those there. All the cats are gone because they're at the festival and we'll start working our way over to the sacred, the sacred temple. There's a nice fish. I want that big fat fish. No, he found me. <laughs> oh man. All right. Fish are actually pretty hard to find. Uh, oh no. And here we go. The question of what to do with all of these snake lilies. I called them dark lilies, by the way, which is ironic because that is actually, <laughs> that's actually Creek's mother. Her mother's name is Dark Lily from our Warrior Cats, the Untold Tales series. So no wonder I called them dark lilies. I bet that's what Creek thinks about them. Uh, like that's what she calls them in her head. Oh, there's another fish. Thank goodness. 
I was worried. I was getting really hungry. I want more fish. Ah, oh, dang it. All right, well, let me do a little bit more hunting just before we go and check in. Oh, there's a squirrel, but I startled it because I was so focused looking at the wetlands. I want to get some food. I want to make sure we have something yummy to eat. No! Go, Crete, go! No, <laughs> she couldn't get it in time. Okay, well, whoops, who was that? Oh, hello! Hey, Creek. I've been lost for the past few hours. Good to see a familiar face. I must be going the right way. Well, hi, Creek. Hi, Hulu. Elaine, how are you? Please watch where you're going. Is there a battle going on here? I hear battle music. Are we in a fight? What's happening? All right, I'm not going to worry about it. I'm just going to keep going to the festival. That's very interesting. All right, well, we'll go ahead and swim across. Creek is also increasingly more comfortable with water. Yes, so I am going to increase her swimming ability. Woohoo! Maybe we can go ahead and try catching some of the sneakier fish along the beach. I feel like the beach should have more fish. Oh, yes, and there's another catnip. The beach should have more fish than some of the streams sometimes, or at least bigger fish that might last you a little while or fill you up a little bit more. All right, let's keep moving. Sacred Temple, any second now. The Hollowed Garden. I think the Sacred Temple is to the north from here. Oh, and look at all these marigolds. We definitely want to collect those up while we can. Hey, is that a rare... Do we have that guy? Hey, you. No, come back. I don't think I have you. I need you for my collection. Creek's really, really... Oh, it's just a brown hawker. Creek is really concerned about making sure she finds and studies every single piece of prey and every type of plant that possibly exists in the world. Also, we have gone too far. Creek, we have... Oh, there's some catnip, though. We have entered another colony's territory completely by accident. I need to go down. All right, about face. Let's hurry. Because <laughs> now we're going to be late for the festival. No, Lily! Lily, I refuse! It was an accident. I'm going to say we got chased away by the territory and ta-da! We've made it, you guys! <sighs> all right, here at the Autumn Festival, I wonder which cat carved all of these jack-o'-lanterns. That's absolutely adorable. Uh, a lot of people have been telling me if I step on each one, pardon me, pardon me, hello, nice to meet you everyone, but if I step on each one of the paw prints and then go ahead and let's see, there's four, so stepped on this one. I don't think it'll work in the middle of a festival, but if I heard something. I definitely heard something. Huh. Maybe I, oh, look, we did it, you guys. Look, we stepped on all four of the paw prints and we got a power paw, huzzah. All right, so I guess we're filled with vigor and feeling really good coming here to visit with everybody during the autumn festival. How cool is that? Hello, Lyris. How beautiful the temple looks this fall. Do you not agree? Oracle? Strange are the ways of the other colonies that gather here. Coco? Welcome to the Autumn Festival. Would you like to play festival games to earn tokens or spend your tokens at the shop? Let's go ahead and see what we could get this time. We can get- Oh, a pumpkin color cat! Are you kidding me? That's hilarious. I wonder if it would be fun to actually have Creek be able to get all of the different coat colors and we can switch through on them saying that it's Crampy and doing some experiments with potions. Crampy could be making a bunch of different potions that might change Creek different colors now and then. How cool would that be? Then we could go with seasonal colors and we could decorate ourselves. I love that idea. There's also pumpkin decor, which would be really fun. I feel like we should definitely get that because I think that Creek would want to collect a whole bunch of the decor so that she could study it and try to figure out what the mystery of it is. A power paw would be very important to make sure we collect. A glow potion, this spooky item, will make your fur shine a bright luminescent color for one minute. Single use. Now that sounds like something that she would have to research too, and it definitely sounds like something Crampy would want to get his hands on. And then the dangerous snake lily which I think would definitely have Creek feeling really nervous and kind of glancing at it sort of guiltily. So we'll go ahead and see what the festival games are in just a moment. Let's go ahead and greet everybody. Do you need something? Luna of the Mountain Colony. Alyssa of our colony. Make sure you don't leave without a prize. There's plenty to win. She's warming up to us very quickly. I think she's seen that we're fighting for her colony. We can feed ourselves now. We are trying to share gifts with the rest of the cats in the colony, even if we're not very good at it sometimes. Let's come talk with Pebble. 
Make sure you don't leave without playing some of the games. They're the best part of the festival. Pebble, you're so cute. I like Pebble. I want to get to know Pebble a little bit more. And I feel like Creek is getting really curious looking at all of the other cats in the colony going, mm, I wonder if I could visit them somehow. Slip? Autumn's a lovely time for a celebration. Not too hot, not too cold. I do need to become better friends with Slip too. Let's go talk to Savannah, our best friend. Oh, Slip, if I could. Oh dear. Oh dear, is that dead dragonfly going to be there literally forever? Okay guys, that dead dragonfly is literally going to be trapped on the temple steps forever. Oh my goodness, I can't believe I did that. All right, well that happened. I mean, maybe we could cover it up. Can I cover it up with a plant somehow? Like this marigold? Can I drop the marigold on top? Nope. Okay. That just highlights the problem, so we're just going to carry this. I don't think I can give gifts at this time, can I? Hold. Savannah? I like to trade with the other cats who attend the festivities. There's lots of exotic stuff to be found. Nope, can't go ahead and give these just yet. So we'll put it away. Savannah is super happy. She's doing lots of cool trades. There's another dragonfly. <laughs> at least I can collect those right now. Oh, Scout! On my way over to the temple, I was tracking a really big mouse. It got away, but I'll grab it on my way back for sure. So they seem to have some good fat mice in the forest colony right now. Nil wants to know if we're having fun. Missy? <sighs> it's getting cold out. At least we can enjoy fall for one more day. Mayor? We gather once more before the snow falls for fun and festivities. It's so interesting the way the cats can fight for life and death, but they, they are willing to put everything aside when it comes to the festivals. I think that's so interesting. I, I kind of have to like sit and think like, how would that happen? Would anyone really be willing to battle their arch enemies? I guess it's not enemies as much as it's like just mutual skirmishes over territory that is lost and won over time. So let's see, Sarge. I hope no one tries anything funny today just because it's a festival. See, Sarge kind of has the mind that I do of being very cautious. So I guess it's just like the banner of peace is temporary. Ember, it's a little chilly today, but that won't stop me from having fun. All right, let's wiggle down here. I like all of the jack-o'-lanterns. It'd be fun if when you put down the jack-o'-lanterns, they're like randomized. I like talking with the cats from the other colonies when we gather at the temple. Sometimes they bring good smelling plants for me. Yay! And we've been building up our relationship with Mossy. We're up to four stars with Mossy now as well. All right. Oop, and there's Doc. Let's go ahead and talk to him. The blackberry bushes are starting to wither. That means it's not too... There's not too much longer to gather golden seal for the winter. Ooh, a very wise cat Doc is. Knowing the patterns of when things grow. And now Mountain Colony is one of the most interesting to me because I have never been to Mountain Colony. I don't know what's up there and I don't know the cats from there. So let's talk to Delta. Holy moly, Delta! <laughs> Look at you! The Autumn Festival is my favorite every year. There's something special about how the temple looks in fall. Robin? I have fun today. Jag? I'm only sticking around for a little while. Then I need to get back to my post at the Mountain Domain. Arthur? Mark thee how the wind blows today. Uh, this joyous occasion shall be our last day before making or before the snowfall. Oh my goodness. See, they're a very interesting bunch. I would like to greet them. Perhaps we should spend less time playing games and more time discussing the territorial power shifts since we've get last gathered here. See, it is a good mix of cats who take this pretty seriously and cats who are pretty playful. Arthur, let me look at you again. He has a heart. I think we can actually try to romance the cats in other colonies. Now I'm very curious. All right, but I think that should cover everybody. Did I talk to Crampy? I think I miss Crampy. Having fun is good for your health. Take it from me, I'm a doctor. <laughs> Crampy. Oh my goodness. All right, I think that's everybody now. Yeah, Pebble and Luna, Oracle and Lyris. Wonderful, so let's go ahead and talk to Coco. And let's join in on the autumn games. What? A pumpkin carving competition? How on earth do you do a pumpkin carving competition? I have to know. Welcome to round one of the autumn pumpkin carving competition. Your challengers today are Scout and Alyssa. <gasps> Why? Alyssa might like kind of wink at us or something and or like give us a no knowing nod of her regal head because she is our colony leader and she told us that we needed to play some of the games and get some of the swag today. So let's see. You can't beat us. I don't think this will be very hard. The goal of the pumpkin carving competition is to end up with the most finished pumpkins. You have one minute to carve as many pumpkins as you can. Each pumpkin requires three steps to carve it fully. You have to press E with good timing to make sure you don't mess up. 
And be careful, if you carve a pumpkin incorrectly, you'll have to throw it out and start all over with a new pumpkin. Are you ready? On your mark, get set, go! Wait, I don't really- oh no! I don't really know what I'm doing! <gasps> but this is really addicting! Oh no, Alyssa's already got a pumpkin done! <gasps> oh, they're so fast! Oh my gosh, this is so adorable! Okay, okay, E with perfect timing. Oh no, I have to throw that pumpkin out! Oh my goodness! <gasps> Scout, what are you? Like a jack-o'-lantern machine? Oh my gosh, Alyssa! <gasps> oh no! Oh no! They're so fast! Oh, it's making me nervous. Okay, okay, focus, focus. Ah, uh, if I'm more careful instead of just like, oh my gosh. So it's kind of like a way to show off your perfected, your skills with your claws. No, I was so close on that one. <laughs> okay, guys, I have some bad news. I don't think we're gonna win this one. No, dang it. Okay, okay, slow down. You've got this, you've got this creek. Scout, just what the heck are you? Like a jack-o'-lantern in a past life. No, the end. <gasps> oh my gosh, that was adorable. Creek got one festival <laughs> token. <laughs> that was adorable and that was so hard. I can't believe that. We're gonna join the games again. You only get a few rounds. This is so adorable. Alyssa is like the pumpkin expert. I can't believe this. Niall and Alyssa, uh, I guess because we're all the wetlands cats. <laughs> we're gonna try again. This is so much harder than I thought it would be. I was like, oh, how cute. A pumpkin carving festival. Yeah, it's much harder than it looks. Oh my goodness. Okay. All right, we've got this. Talk about getting in the mood for autumn though. This is so adorable. All right, come on, Creek. Come on. There you go. There you go. We've got three now. That's like a whole new record for her. <laughs> Probably, no. Come on. There we go, there's four. If we're really careful, we might be able. Oh my gosh, five. We might be able to do this. How many pumpkins can I get? I'm definitely taking one of them home. I have to get enough points to be able to take a pumpkin home. Oh man, I wonder what the cats are carving. Okay, seven. Come on, Creek. Eight. Oh my goodness. Nine. Are we in the lead? Alyssa. Alyssa is just a pumpkin carving machine. Oh my gosh. All right. I really hope we got more. Yes. Three festival tokens. We won. Man, I think that the Mystic Colony sweeps the floor with everybody else when it comes to making those festival, uh, that particular, that particular pumpkin carving game. All right, guys, we're going to do it one more time. Alyssa and Niall are our challengers again. I think that this is a favorite thing for sure of our colony, it seems, out of all of the colonies. Oh man, Alyssa's already got one out and I'm just like so nervous. I'm just, I'm just Miss Butterpaws over here. No. Okay, calm down. I had, no, no, <gasps> no. Okay, I'm way too nervous. I should have taken like a little walk before we started the next round. All right, come on, come on. There we go. Just imagine he's a nice juicy fish creek. Come on, you can do this. All right, we're definitely gonna take at least one of the, the prizes home today and I think it's gonna have to be the pumpkin because I feel like Alyssa would be laughing so hard at Creek while she's covered in pumpkin guts and seeds and she would be giving her tips and pointers after she's won. Clearly, I feel like Alyssa like is like gold champion in pumpkin carving. I mean, just look at her go. This is ridiculous. All right, nope, dang it. All right, come on, they're gonna catch up. They're gonna catch up. Okay, let's see. Oh, we got second place. All right. I still think Alyssa just like sweeps the floor with all the other cats. <laughs> all right, guys. So that is the Autumn Festival. I love the idea that Alyssa really had a good time and we got to see her laugh and have fun for the first time. We're not seeing her as the spooky, scary leader she's always been. And now we can go ahead and we can get some of the pumpkin decor, which makes me very happy. I think pumpkin decor and even maybe the pumpkin color would be things that I would want this time. Let's go ahead. We bought the pumpkin. The decoration will be automatically displayed at your den. You can hide, display, and manage your decorations anytime with Mulby bell in your den. Now what is Volby's bell? Interesting. And then let's see what else we can get from the festival shop. 
we're one point short of the power paw. So I think we're gonna go ahead and get the pumpkin color. And we're gonna say that Crampy, once we become friends with him, we will unlock the ability to try out his mysterious potions. It would be really fun if you could buy a mysterious potion from him actually, that just temporarily, like for the day, changes you into any coat color. That would be really cool. <laughs> but we're gonna go ahead and buy the pumpkin color. And there we go. We're going to say that that is because Crampy has a really interesting, uh, interesting experiment. But, oh, and there we go, little black tabby. That would be better for Creek so she could actually look like herself. But, ta-da! This is what we would look like if we were a pumpkin cat. How adorable is that? Oh my gosh, I love it. I can't wait. I think it'll be really fun. Uh, and actually, I feel like Black Tabby is close, but not quite right for Creek. I feel like it would be so much fun to say once we become friends with Crampy, we can change our coat colors now and then because of weird potions he feeds us. So that'll be awesome. But all right, let's say hello to Alyssa one last time. And we've got our prizes. When we go home, we should have an adorable little pumpkin waiting for us and more adventures because it is going to be winter. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.